We're back at it with once again another gold camel guide. Today we're finishing off the snipers with the last sniper I have to upload, which is the HDR, which stands for huge dick reflexes. You heard it here first, guys. HDR. You know the acronym now. Anyway, we're going to go through everything you need to know to unlock all 100 camos and get that awesome, epic gold camo. <laughs> Since I got so many comments on the AX50 video of my attachments and how they were trash, I'm going to show my attachments on screen now. I know attachments are a subjective thing. This is the attachments I used in Ground War. All the pros benefited me and how I play in Ground War because I play very conservative in Ground War while sniping. I usually sit on a roof of Karst River Quarry and then just watch the enemy's objectives. Or I just, you know, snipe just long range just because Ground War it's that easy. I recommend Ground War for most game modes and doing most challenges. If you want to play a different game mode, play whatever game mode you excel at the most to unlock those challenges very fast. Before we go through all 10 categories, which has 10 camos in each category, and if you're good at math and a major in the mathematics, you will know that it is 100 total camos. And then when you complete all 100, you get that gold camo. We've already covered this on the screen. What you're going to see as we go through the categories is the category, the challenge that you need to complete it, as well as the best maps and the best game modes I recommend. Keep in mind, if the game modes I recommend don't suit your playstyle, you can easily play whatever other game modes you excel at or you enjoy. Usually what I recommend is the game modes that I use just to unlock camo super fast. But if you guys know a better strategy, make sure to share that in the comments down below so other noobs know what to do to get that gold camo. Hop it into category number one. This is going to be spray paint. To complete this, you got to get 450 kills. Really easy to do. It's a passive challenge, you'll do it in the background, it's honestly not that hard. Next is Woodland, and this is 60 headshots, this is really easy to complete as well. I find in Ground War getting headshots is really easy because lots of people snipe or just are brain dead bots and like to sit around and just aim at one area of the map in general. So if you can find those really bad players, headshots are super easy. Or if you just find players camping in general, holding down a certain sight line or a certain lane, because ground war maps are so big, you can aim on their head and get that shot super easily. And of course, if they're at long ranges, you can just aim a little bit above their head and you will get that headshot super easily. To complete digital, this is just 50 crouch kills because you're sniping, unless you're like a crazy quick scope god that likes to play shoot house 24 seven to do their sniper challenges. If you're like me and usually snipe conservatively, unless you're trying to join phase clan, you will be crouching most of the time while using a sniper, especially Especially on ground war if you have a good sight line or good power position so crouch kills will be super easy and of course if it's a challenge you're getting stuck on and just not completing just force yourself to crouch because if you're running around you won't be getting those kills to complete dragon this is just going to be 51 shot kills and because the hdr is so strong and has a natural high damage range you'll be dropping one shot kills at all ranges on all maps even ground war maps once you get used to the gun and you're sniping at those extremely long distances where you actually have to aim up because you'll be dealing with the bullet drop once you get good, you'll be able to get those one-shot kills super easy, and it's only 50 of them, and by the time you unlock all camos, you should get 50 one-shots super easily. Splinter is just 150 kills with 5 attachments equipped. Make sure your sniper has 5 attachments equipped, get 150 kills, you're good to go. It's a passive challenge, super easy to do. Focus on doing other challenges while you have 5 attachments equipped, because honestly, it's so efficient to just do Splinter while you're focusing on other challenges to complete gold. Topo is 50 long shot kills, which I find really easy to do. These snipers have the longest long shot radius, which means depending on what gun you're using, long shots will count differently, and because the sniper is a sniper, long shots require a greater distance between you and the enemy. But if you're playing Ground War or just big maps like Grozen Raid, Arklov Peak, or Euphoretz, whatever how you say it, Bridge, you'll be getting natural long shots really easy, and it's only 50 of them, so once again, super easy challenge to do. Tiger is 50 mounted kills, and regardless of what playstyle you play with snipers, you will have to slow it down so you can mount your gun. Mounting is when you find a ledge or a corner, and then whatever you have it selected as your settings, you will hit that sequence of buttons or keys on your keyboard, and you will lean the corner, and you can just drop 50 kills, really easy to do. Stripes is just 25 double kills, really easy to do. A lot of people seem to struggle with double kills with snipers and marksman rifles, so what I like to do is on Karst River Quarry, just hop on a roof, and then just kind of focus my attention on wherever the enemies are spawning, and that just goes for any map and any game mode in general. So if you're playing Domination and your team has the A and B flag, the enemy team will obviously be spawning at C, so just get a good position where you can see a couple enemies run by, pick one off and then pick the next off, and then you get your double kill and you're good to go. Reptile is 75 kills with no attachments, and the exact same thing is recommended for the Splinter Camo and the Spray Paint Camo. Just focus on this camo challenge while working on your other ones, because if you have no attachments, 
every kill will count. Really simple and straightforward. Honestly, everyone knows this. And the last one is skulls, which is three kills without dying. Really easy to do. You just do this 25, 30 times, whatever the requirement is. If you can get three kills in a life, you can do this super easily. And if you've made it this far with all your challenges, you will have unlocked that gold camo for the HDR, which is the huge dick range rifle. Oh no, shoot. It's the huge dick reflex. I remember it, guys. Don't worry. I don't have Alzheimer's or anything like that. Anyway, guys, jokes aside, I appreciate all the support you guys have been showing on the channel and all the growth that has been happening. I really appreciate you guys coming out and checking out the new videos and all that type of stuff. If there is one, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.